yeah, so I was thinking that uh, maybe before doing a, a, a full cut right off the bat, that's kind of scary, really. Uh, we tried to run the code uh, with uh, a marker and see where the cutter goes and uh, see if we're happy with it before before we start it. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, uh, show you the setup, and uh, we'll give it a give it a shot. All right. There's the uh, CNC controller running on uh, the laptop. I hooked up the wireless uh, mouse and keyboard to it uh, via a little little black thing right there. Anyway, it works pretty well. This is the first time I, I try running the mill with a laptop. So far, so good. And uh, here's the setup. This is the main idea. Instead of uh, using a cutter, I'm just going to put a marker there and, uh, and you know, I'll run the program, see, see how that goes. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, tell my 3 right there to... Let's see if I can see it. Where'd it go? See right there it says go to zero. I'm gonna click that button and I already zeroed out the place, so I should go right back to zero. Right now it's uh, I don't know, a bunch of different numbers. So here we go, I click the button. And nothing happened. And I don't know what <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm sorry, We're pressing the wrong button, that's to go, that's not go to zero. Alright, here we go. Try that try a different button. Ah, that's good. So that should make sure we're focused there. If I go down, it should be somewhere near the zero. And it's off by a bunch, off by 50,000. Oh, Lordy, what the hell is going on? It says zero up there, but it's obviously not zero. And it probably has to do with the fact that, I don't know. I don't know why it's not at zero. Well, let me figure it out and then we get back to it. Alright, we're back. So, uh, probably that wrong button that I pressed uh, to go there, I had no idea what it does. It probably screwed things up. But anyway, I re... Uh, well, I re uh, set the zero. I re-measured it. And uh, let's see how things go now. We're going back to go to zero. Try to click the right button this time. It should go right at the edge. The end of that uh, place. Yeah, wow, that's spot on. Alright, so now, yeah, that's right on. Should be hard to focus on it. What I want to do is kind of lower this. You know, it's probably better if I just move it a little bit and make sure that, that I can touch. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, sorry, that is touching. I'm gonna call that zero and uh, we go back to zero. Go to zero. As we left the mark, we're gonna run the program, see, see what happens. Alright, program's up there, make sure we don't screw anything up again. And I do apologize for the audio, I don't know if you can hear me, I'm gonna try to speak louder, but uh, this. Uh, this driver box here I made is pretty loud with that fan. Okay, so cycle start. Alright. And uh, cycle start again, it should start doing the theoretical cutting. Here we go. Well, what do you think? Not too bad, huh? All right, just one quick uh, reminder here, and yeah, let me get my device here. Uh, it kind of threw me off for a second too. The reason the black lines don't go all the way to the edge is, uh, well, first of all, yeah, I think these edges are pretty much correct, although I hand drew it. But uh, you gotta remember that there's a thickness to the to the cutter, so that's just the center, actually. Yeah, I think that's the center of the cutter. The center of the cutter will go. Yeah, of course. 
and so it actually cuts a little more to the right and this is just the roughing cut so I forget how much I left I think I'm gonna left five thousands or ten thousand to uh, of extra material so when it does the finishing pass it can come back here and uh, and uh, cut a little closer although I believe I probably uh, these lines are probably not 100% correct let me see if I can skip to the finishing pass and so we can see it go through the actual uh, position minus the compensation for the for the uh, diameter of the tool for the, for the finishing pass there let's see for the core and uh, let's see if we can scroll down see what you can you can see what I'm doing we're gonna try to scroll down to where the finishing part pass starts this is way down there yeah I think we're already in the middle of the finishing pass here there you go finishing water line so we're gonna run that and see where that goes obviously uh, we're gonna have to raise the Z axis for a second and alright hit run and, okay so that's where it would uh, I don't know why it went to zero I think it got a zero thing there then it goes to the beginning start from here. Well just for that should totally start from here instead I hit start and we started back from the very beginning so I'd just uh, bear me bear with me for a second. This might be interesting or if it's not I end up uh, editing it out. So uh, finishing waterline here and uh, it's supposed to be right here run from here. Here we go. to the corner there he's asking me to lower the tip which at this point I'm gonna have to eyeball it hopefully I don't smash it and where is it okay here we go I think it's gonna touch right, lower it a little more and uh, we're gonna hit right again And it should be a little slower, and it's the actual finishing pass. So, yeah, as, a, as I was expecting, you know, it's only five thousands further in. So, so the actual uh, actual outline of the part is going to be. Uh, half of the diameter of the mill, which is a quarter inch, so 125 thousands further in, that's where the actual cut is going to end. But uh, hey, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with this test. I, I say we'll, we'll give it a try. Put a hand mill and start chopping. <laughs> 